The military cargo plane is a crucial component of any nation's defense since it helps move the troops and the military equipment to the necessary locations. Such military cargo jets are now in demand from several nations. In this video, we'll take a look at two different aircraft, the Brazilian-built Embraer KC-390 and the Japanese-built Kawasaki C-2. We will comprehend aircraft specifications and their best possible flying and serving capabilities for military needs. Let's get started. Japan is known for its technological success and has overtaken many countries in terms of progress, but it will soon shine in the development of the aircraft sector. Japan has built its own multi-purpose cargo airplane, the Kawasaki C-2, which is on a level with any cutting-edge modern aircraft. Embraer Aircraft, a Brazilian-based company with experience in the production of both private jets and commercial aircraft, is the manufacturer of the KC-390, a medium-sized twin-engine military transport aircraft, the KC-390. As of now, it is the heaviest aircraft Embraer has ever produced. The C-2 can transport 120 personnel, compared to the KC-390s can carry 80 troops. Additionally, KC-390 can hold up to 7 463 liters pallets, whereas C-2 can hold up to 8 463 liters pallets. The Kawasaki C-2 is 144 feet long, whereas the Embraer KC-390 is 115 feet long. The C-2 has a wingspan of 145 feet, while the KC-390s is 115 feet. The C-2 is 46 feet 7 inches tall, while the Embraer has a height of 38 feet. Additionally, the C-2 has a takeoff weight of 141,400 kilograms, compared to the KC-390's maximum takeoff weight of around 86,999 kilograms, the KC-390 can hold 23,000 kilograms of fuel, whereas the C-2 can hold 34,523 kilograms. The Kawasaki C-2 is a Japanese transport plane that succeeded the C-1. It is utilized for military activities as well as domestic and international air transport and disaster relief. This aircraft entered service in 2016, six years after its first flight in 2010. As of today, the Kowalski firm has manufactured 15 aircraft, with another 22 in the production. During the 2019 Dubai Air Show, the aircraft received a millennium name, in order to be specifically identified. To replace the aging C-130s that now serve the Brazilian Air Force, the Brazilian government has placed an order for 28 aircraft. These airplanes are also offered on the international market. The governments of Portugal have ordered five aircraft, Hungary is two aircraft, and the Netherlands has five aircraft have all placed orders for aircraft. The procurement of the aircraft is currently being considered by other nations. Two General Electric CF6 to 80 turbofan engines, each capable of producing 265.7 kN of thrust, are used to power the Kawasaki C2. The International Aero Engines power plant that is used in the Embraer KC390 can generate 139.4 kN of thrust from each engine. The Kawasaki C2 can travel at a top speed of about 920 km per hour, whereas the Embraer C390 can travel at a top speed of 988 km per hour. The Kawasaki C2 has a maximum range of 7,600 km with 20 tons, while the Embraer KC390 has a maximum range of 5,820 km with 14 tons. The Kawasaki C2 has an 8,500 km ferry range, whereas the Embraer has a 9,800 km range. The KC390 can reach a height of 36,000 feet, 
whereas Kowalski C2 has a service ceiling of 43,000 feet. There is an in-flight refueling system on both plane. This aircraft can also perform reveres like the C-17 Globemaster freight plane. While the fuselage components of the C-2s are shared with the Kawasaki P-1, the fuselage of the C-2s is significantly larger to enable a huge internal cargo deck with an automated loading and unloading system to reduce burdens on humans and ground equipment. To decrease the obstacles of flying at low altitudes or near rugged terrain, a tactical flight management system and a head-up display are installed. The C-2 has a full glass cockpit, fly-by-wire flight controls, high-precision navigation, and self-protection systems. KC-390 has the Collins Aerospace's ProLine Fusion Avionics System, which has 15 high-resolution LCD displays that are compatible with night vision imaging systems, is installed in the cockpit of the KC-390. The tactical aircraft self-defense system includes detection and deterrence tools like radar warning receivers and missile approach warning systems. This aircraft is a direct rival to the Lockheed Martin the 100-130 and the Kawasaki, and it is ideal for multiple tasks. Since this aircraft is being upgraded with a new avionics system that makes it even better, Embraer has experience in the aviation industry. Both aircraft have seen improvements in avionics technology and overall aircraft quality. The KC-390 has a robust body and ballistic armor protection against 7.62mm rounds. The landing gear on each aircraft is designed to handle tough terrain and can touch down on any hard surface. With regard to criteria, both aircraft have good engines. The Kawasaki C-2 aircraft would cost over US $100 million, while the Embraer KC-390 would cost roughly US $60 million. Please share your thoughts about the two aircraft in the comments section.